Surf's up guys, it's Maui Snake here, and today we're doing yet another pick stop pickums video. You guys know the drill by now. Hit the link in the description below to hop on to pick stop if you haven't by now. Thank you all so much for joining my league. It's already at 269 entrance, and I am in fifth place. I care about the entrance, but I care more about the fifth place. Also, the fact that I am eighth in the world right now, pretty cool. And maybe I know my stuff, huh? Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Um, I did. And so do a lot of people, and that's probably what you think too. That's why you're watching this video. Okay, so let's get into this quarterfinals matchup, Liquid versus Vitality. The most important thing we have to consider when looking at this matchup is the air quality index, and we are going to see that it is moderate right now in Katowice. The match is going to take place in about 20 hours, and I should, wouldn't imagine that this changes too much. You can see here that the worst day uh, for Zaiwu at this event was Tuesday, February 7th, which was unhealthy. Um... Hey, it's almost like I told you guys so, that this was a real theory, and that this is actually somehow working much better than expected, and you can actually predict Zaiwu's performance based on air quality? Who'd have thunk it? Oh yeah, I did, because I put in the research to figure out this made sense before I even made the claim. Okay, so looking at that, we can see that it's moderate, which actually kind of means he's just going to have a normal Zaiwu performance. I think moderate is kind of his baseline level. But actually, thinking about the vetoes for this one a little bit, and yes, I know I'm getting into serious stuff right now, and it's not as fun, but this is what you have to do as an analyst, and if you're one of the best out there, you gotta keep doing this. It's uh, it's just that Liquid has actually a pretty good map pool versus Vitality now that they can either ban Vertigo or yeah, Vertigo or Nuke, and I imagine in this series they actually are gonna ban out Vertigo, which would probably make Vitality want to pick Nuke, but Vitality hasn't been picking Nuke for the entirety of this opening season. Since the back to the Blast groups, they actually only picked it once, I think, versus Heroic, and they lost, if I'm not mistaken. And so that, to me, says that Vitality might not even go for it, and Liquid have a op huge option here where they could go for, like, um, they could go for Overpass, they could go for Anubis, they could go for Mirage. There's a lot of maps right now that could actually get Vitality out of their comfort zone. And so Liquid are going to win the veto in this one. And that's why I'm actually putting them to make it through here. I am going to give it Liquid 2-1 because the air quality is not horrible. If the air quality were worse, I would make this a 2-0 for Liquid. But you got to give Zywoo a little bit of slack because it's just moderate air quality. Okay, Navi versus Outsiders. This is another one where the... I think the veto is, well, it's not another one. This this veto is a little bit more straightforward in my eyes. I think Navi is going to be picking Inferno. Outsider is going to be picking Overpass. And I think that Navi should just win. I think Navi should just win that 2-0 just because this is, like, like, Outsiders are a weird team to play against for most teams, especially teams that are not from Eastern Europe. But teams from Eastern Europe just seem to have a little bit more experience against them. Um, it it kind of, like, domestic matchups are just weird in general, but... I think that Outsiders fluked their way into this playoffs a little bit. Uh, I think that complexity kind of fell off a little bit in a way that they shouldn't have. And I think that, which is something that Outsiders do. They grind you down. They really make you work for it. And they put a lot of pressure on you because they're a weird team to play against. But I also think they got lucky because they played OG playing with Rugga. And so that was obviously going to be Outsiders favored. And if had, they, had, out, had complexity had a little bit more nerve or OG had not had flames instead of their coach i think that there's a good chance outsiders wouldn't even be here and i think that navi are just a team that have the one the best player in the server electronics actually kind of playing well this team doesn't look as decrepit on t sides as i thought before except 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 for when they play g2 but g2 are a really good team so i'm not really holding that as much against them and so yeah i'm going to be going with navi in this one 2-0 g2 versus liquid i am going to be confidently going with g2 here i want to give liquid a map here um i know that g2 are on their mm, 17 map win streak i think it is right now which is incredibly impressive but i this is kind of tough because i just kind of i see a, a way where so so g2 is going to ban out overpass liquid can ban i think they want to want to ban probably nuke against against g2 more um i don't g2 doesn't really rely on their vertigo in fact it's probably one of their weaker maps so i wouldn't really expect g2 to try to punish pick by going to Vertigo there, and I think that Liquid would probably go for something a little bit more fun, like un an underdog pick like an Anubis, or, yeah, I think I think it's probably going to be Anubis. I don't think you would really want to pick Mirage against G2, per se, so I, I do think that Liquid can squeeze one out there, and I think that that might ruin G2's uh, map win streak, so I think that's going to be a storyline we don't talk about too much more, and I think it's, but I do think it's going to be G2-2-1, um, and pretty much regardless what G2 picks, I think that they're the better team. I think the Infernos, Mirage is out there, are pretty likely to go G2's way, and this kind of just depends this one map, if Liquid go for something cheeky, like 
an ancient or an Anubis. And I think that's kind of why I'm giving them this map because I think they will win the veto. I think they're, I mean, I think they're, Liquid's been doing actually a really good job at vetoing recently. I think that's something, and I think that's something that's a little bit new to when I'm watching Liquid. I feel like I've seen them make, I, I saw them make some mistakes last year, but now this year, like when they played against FaZe, it, it actually was like the most winning veto I've ever seen out of Liquid where it's like, oh my God, you guys actually destroyed them in it you guys gave yourself three chances to win this so i think they're gonna win one even though i think g2 is just way i think g2 is in much better form much much better uh so then heroic navi this is tough because um i think that experience stage experience should give navi an edge here but i think npl takes that away i think that every rookie you have should really hurt you in terms of stage stage xp and so Despite the fact that Simple's the best player in the server, I think that Heroic are now pretty comfortable on, on LAN. I don't think they're as worried anymore. And so I think Heroic are going to win this one 2-1. And I I just think that the teamwork for Heroic is really good. Like, they are they are playing some of the best overall team Counter-Strike I have seen anywhere. And and I think it's going to be close. I think it'll be 2-1. And I think that Simple is going to be pretty mad at NPL, but he's going to also have to, like, lay it off a little bit. I think he's going to have to chill his jets. I don't think he's going to... And I don't think you're going to see him going with body language, like, uh, 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 like he did to SDY at the end of last year, which was hilarious for us, for most of us. But it was also kind of hard to watch. But no, I don't think he's going to be that bad of a teammate. And I think that we're going to get a G2 Heroic final. I think that this is the final that is destined to happen for this league. I mean, for this event. Um, this is a really cool one uh, because I think that what both of these teams have is one, very good teamwork. But two, they actually have some of the better players out there now. I think that role-wise, uh, Heroic are doing a very good job. I think that Shush is a sick anchor. But then you like look at the counterparts on both teams, and G2 has more firepower in almost every single regard. The only r way Heroic kind of win is that they are actually a better... I think they're better playing the best Team CS of everybody in the world right now. And so that'll help them a lot. But I also think that in these high-pressure environments, teamwork gets a little bit worse, and individuals have a chance to shine a little bit more. And I think that's why G2 will win this series. Yep, I'm, I'm going with G2. I think that G2 are going to be on a hot streak. I think that these are the two best teams in the world at present. I think there was an argument for FaZe, but that with them not making playoffs and losing in the fashion that they did, having lost to G2 already in this event and losing to Liquid, I think it's pretty safe to say they're not the best in the world. Um, but they're definitely a top five team still in my eyes. And so I will be going with G2. And I'm, I'm going to let's think about the maps a little bit here. Um, Heroic are banning Anubis. G2 are banning... Um, overpass and then for the picks i mean i don't think it necessarily matters at that point but i think that this is really even on almost every map uh which is why this is really going to be fun i think that if i just have to go through it inferno i'm gonna give the slight edge to g2 mirage also would give it to g2 uh ancient i would give that to heroic hmm yeah i would give it to heroic i've seen monacy actually not do that well on it before um Okay, so I'll just go in alphabetical order as far as... Actually, no, wait. Okay, so Inferno... I'll just go... Inferno Mirage are for G2. Ancient for Heroic. Nuke... Oof. I guess G2? I guess? It's really close, though. Uh, Heroic's so good on that map, too. But I think they've gotten a little bit worse. And then... Uh, Vertigo. Ooh, Vertigo it actually is probably Heroic favorite. But both of these teams seem to have lost a little bit of steam on Vertigo, too. So I'm not really too convinced about either of them. I think I think if it's Vertigo, it's actually going to be a really bad fifth map. Um, if it goes the distance, oh gosh, that's so disappointing to even think about the fact that if Vertigo happens, it'll be map five and like everybody's going to be like, yeah, map five. And then it's like Vertigo and these teams both are just kind of weaker at it in general. So for the sake of the audience and myself, G2 are going to win this one 3-1. I'm going to submit my predictions and hopefully that's what happens because nobody wants to watch these two teams play Vertigo. As always, being toxic is a choice.